I said what I said. <laughs> Hi, 49. I'm Rani, founder and creative director of Fangirl and business partner at Liberty. And I am about to face 49 questions. Dancing around your house or working out? Cut the haters out. People, I love being around people. They motivate me and inspire me. <laughs> people, they're distracting. <laughs> Memes. Instagram. I'm not into the drama, so comedy. Stop watching what everyone else is doing. Mm, the superpower I would pick would be to turn back time, go back into the past and rewrite history so that the black community and other marginalized communities could have equality in the future. The year's not over, the industry can do better. Launching my own brand and creating a brand which I felt just didn't exist and wasn't serving um, a community and finally getting it out there is just incredible. You're the blueprint, so forget anything that's come before you, any legacies or systems that have been created by those that don't look like you. Experiment, use your intuition, provoke, and stay 100% true to yourself. Consistent, strong, and funny. I having to repeat myself. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> Tea, but I won't spill it. Live streams, branded content. There's not one, there's two. Um, Jamaica and Morocco, specifically Marrakesh. Both are Caribbean and Africa are sources of inspiration for me. Um, so I love traveling, traveling back there. And um, they influence everything I pretty much do. And um, it's amazing to see how much that, the culture from both of those places have gone on to influence like global culture. South London, because it's home. <laughs> All the women ex um, representing, paving the way and doing it for us all. Don't have it, none of it. Call it out, find your support. No job is more valuable than your human rights. Dressed all the way up. I love the runway, so I'd have to say walk. Culture. I'm a city girl, so city. There's not just one thing, there's multiple things. Um, I guess we can start with racism, sexism, and homophobia. Life. The biggest achievement would be getting a full naked breast on daytime TV. And that was part of a change behavior campaign I worked on with Copperfield, a breast cancer charity. There isn't one single favorite brand, but I guess the ones that are serving marginalized communities first with purpose, they're all my favorite for that. I would still be pushing for social impact and equality in mainstream culture. For my community, IG, WhatsApp groups. GIF. My nickname's Rosé. I'm sure you can guess why, so it'd have to be Rosé. Anything vegan my husband makes me how it impacts your mental health. Stillness and consciousness. Neither, call me. Takeaway at home. <laughs> you can't have one without the other. I guess publishers were the original influencers. I would have to say both. They're part of the wider ecosystem. Sparkles. I love the sparkle emoji because I'm all about light, never shade. It would hands down for me at the moment be Telfar, um, a black owned, non-gendered, fashion brand that is independent. Say it loud, say it proud. I'm a nurturer, Virgo. So series I'm watching right now, which I totally am obsessed with is P Valley. It's about a strip club in Mississippi owned by a black gay man. Um, and I just love all of the interwoven stories and plot lines and how that explores intersectionality and uh, specifically within the black community. So I watched series one, but I want to get into series two, which is The Handmaid's Tale. The reason that I loved it and want to continue watching it is how um, it explores womanhood, um, identity and the roles that we play in society. It has to be basketball. It's one of the few sports where black men are leading and I love to see black men win. Knowledge is endless and so is opportunity. So for me, it has to be hybrid creative. 
Um, I would say This Is How, which is a podcast which um, we have done at Liberty in partnership with Nominet, a tech brand. And it's all about educating young people around digital skills. We interview inspiring people from um, digital roles across so many brands and sectors. Um, so that would definitely have to be my favorite podcast. Black is King, because Black is King. Thanks for watching and make sure to follow 49.